guys. Happy Tuesday. How are you guys doing? I am in my kids' room today. Um, as you can tell, poop. my kids are infatuated with the poop emoji. So guess what? That's what they got for Easter. <laughs> Easter brought them a poop emoji in their Easter basket. So I haven't been, I haven't talked to you guys since, I guess, Friday when I posted my uh, pulmonary hypertension vlog and thank you all so 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 much for you, those of you that watched it and those of you that shared it um we reached almost 600 people and it was shared so many times so thank you thank you thank you um i can't i can't thank you enough we're just trying to spread some awareness for this very rare disease and hopefully find a cure so if you haven't watched it please go ahead and watch it share it as best as you can we just need some awareness I don't think I've vlogged vlogged in a while, you guys. It's been a while. So um, my grandma came to visit us um, probably like two weeks, almost three weeks, maybe almost three weeks um, this Thursday. So she came two weeks ago from Texas. And for those of you that don't know, my grandma has um, stage four colon cancer. And um, right before she came, her doctors kind of sat down with her and told her, I mean, we can't give you chemotherapy, but you, it's only going to have a 20% chance of making better or helping it at, in any, in any way. So she finally made the decision, like she wasn't going to do chemotherapy anymore because she was tired of being sick and she was tired of being tired. So she came here to visit with us. She came for Mason's birthday party and, um, she was doing really well and um, everything was fine. And then I guess last weekend she was in bed and she was not feeling very good. She was complaining of a lot of pain. Um, so we took her to, or my mom took her to the hospital and they thought that she was having like um, a GI bleed. And so they were doing like some testing to see um, how that if there was actually a bleed in her GI tract or if it was a colon cancer or what was going on so they ended up doing that and they didn't find a bleed they just um, but they ended up taking her off of her blood thinner medication because since they were afraid of a bleed they didn't want to thin her blood and then cause a bleed so now we're worried about blood clots so she was in the hospital for six days and um, they did all kinds of endoscopies, everything to kind of see what was going on. And like I said, they didn't find anything, but she was having a hard time breathing. She, um, which we already knew this, she has um, some cancer in her lung as well as her bowel, her liver, her colon, all that has cancer in it. So. <clears throat> At this point we're just trying to help her feel like comfortable and um, she was released from the hospital on Saturday night I believe and she came home and she was having some issues with her O2 saturation so she was, they brought her home on oxygen she had to come home with an ambulance um, hospice came and that is the new member of our family as of now so my grandma's here we have a hospice bed downstairs in my living room we have hospice nurses coming in and out of our house and um, it's just been like a whirlwind of stuff and I've you know I think I've told you guys this before too but my oldest goes to um, behavioral therapy and so while we were there last week I kind of mentioned to her like could you kind of talk Kaden about the process of this because last summer my grandpa um, who we were staying with, we had gone to Texas for the summer to help take care of him. Um, he had ALS. Go figure, right? We get all these diseases. So he had ALS and we went to help take care of him and we were there for probably a month and um, my grandpa was getting symptoms of pneumonia so we took him to the hospital and he ended up passing away in July of last year. And so I think at that point, like we hadn't really discussed death with my children. Kids are very observant. They know what's going on. 
So it affected Caden a lot more than we expected it to. So this time, I kind of want to be ahead of the game. I want to kind of prepare. So this time, I wanted to stay ahead of the game. So we'll see how that all goes. I don't know. But yeah, right now we have seven people living in my house. And two of those are children. So you have to really take into consideration like their feelings and teaching them about death. So I was watching this really good series, and I've watched it before, but I hadn't watched it in a while. So the series that I had watched and that I actually like enjoyed, um, it's on Showtime. It's called Time of Death. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest that you watch it. It is very eye-opening. There was a person on that series, and it's a docu-series, so I think there's six or seven episodes or whatever. But on one of the episodes, I clearly remember one of the ladies, she said, well, when we're born, we have birth doulas that bring us in, right? And it's such an exciting time and everything, and when we die, we need to have a death doula because it's a celebration of life. You're graduating to heaven. So I kind of like the way that they were saying that so now with my kids I've been really saying like oh nanny's gonna graduate you know papa graduated he went to heaven so that's kind of like the terminology that I've been using last night my, my little five-year-old Mason he came in and he's like mommy mommy I've been praying really hard and I prayed for nanny to get better and she's better because last night she was up walking around and it was so sweet it was so cute so kids are definitely more observant than we give them credit for so, we just need you guys to pray for me <laughs> and my sanity <laughs> so that we don't all drive each other crazy and that we can all live here in harmony and everything is okay for everybody's sake. So, I just wanted to give you that update. Um, another update that I got today was a fun little update from my sister-in-law. I guess I had, been, I had been texting her a little bit and she wasn't responding, but she's very busy. And apparently she told me today, she's like, I gotta get my kid her own phone. She steals my phone, so I totally get it. My kid steals my phone too. But anyways, she said that she had all her medical clearance and everything came out back fine. And her, she had her psych eval, I think on Friday, or Monday of this week, maybe Monday, I don't remember. Anyways, she said that she was going to call that doctor also to get the results and then we can hopefully be on our way. So the next stop pending the cycle valve goes well would be contracts. So that's a whole nother strenuous part of surrogacy is a contracts and hiring a lawyer and getting everything, getting a PBO, which is a pre-birth order. So a pre-birth order means that my husband and I don't have to adopt our own child, basically. So like right when the baby is born, the baby is our baby. It's not, it's not my sister-in-law's baby. It's not her husband's baby. It's our baby. So <clears throat> the baby will instantly have our last name. There will be no our, our names will go on the birth certificate like it won't be a big deal and thank god that where she lives is a pbo state so thank god and very surrogacy friendly so we're just waiting on that information to come back yeah that's pretty much it i haven't these last couple of weeks i've just been i've just been so tired i feel like i'm just running on empty so hopefully 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 we can get a good schedule and we can get everything down and we know what's gonna need to be done with my grandma and with surrogacy and we can just kind of like get it all planned out and see what the next steps are gonna be so I just ask you guys to pray 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 for this family for us to be able to overcome things for us to have the strength and um, yeah to have some fun times together so I think that's it for this week you guys I'm pretty boring I hope that I can maybe vlog again Thursday or Friday <laughs> depending on how crazy it gets around here but yeah that's pretty much it for the day
I hope that you guys had a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you like this video, go ahead and like, 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 like. And subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys, because it's very, 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 very encouraging to see all my subscribers out there um, and knowing that we have such support. So go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing and watching. And I will see you guys very, very, very soon. Bye, guys.